What is crack a and everybody? Caveman Jack back for another reaction slash review. And we are back live from the, the studio. studio. Yo. Yo. Hope you all are doing really, really well. I am so excited. A couple of weeks ago, I decided to finally dive into Radiohead. And in doing that, I, I seemingly have found out I picked one of the trippiest albums to begin with. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Kid A was an incredible experience. Something that I will probably never forget. <laughs> one of the most insane first listens I've ever had in my life. And I was so stoked that I could have so many people engage and just give me all their thoughts. And just going into why they love Radiohead, why they love Kid A, why they love different albums by Radiohead. I was just so gobsmacked. So thank you so much, guys, for any of you that watched the Kid A reaction and commented and gave me insights. And so I had many people come in. I had some people say, you know, listen to In Rainbows, listen to a Moonshape Pool, listen to OK Computer, The Bends. So today I decided let's go to the start. Let's listen to where Radiohead began. So we're going to be listening to their debut project from 1993. 1993, Pablo Honey. Now, from the comments, some of the comments I received, this one seems to be regarded as one of their weakest projects. I guess for me, I'd love to hear how their sounds evolved through the albums. And I think this is almost the best way to do it. We begin at the start, we see where they began, and ultimately we see where they are currently at with a moon-shaped pool at some point. So it's quite a journey. I'm super excited to go through these projects. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is Pablo Honey. We're beginning, I mean, we're not beginning our Radiohead adventure because we kind of already started with Kid A, but we are beginning, we're beginning this proper series of going through the albums. kind of see like and I'm sure this as this album progresses you kind of see like a little bit of a hint of what they eventually come up with with Kid A and I'm sure same with the other albums as they evolve from this you know while it sounds like pretty you know like a standard band kind of you know playing rocking out there's just like the little nuances that still make it feel so different in terms of Every time, like, I was expecting the beat to, like, you know, play throughout fully, it cuts and it, it jumps and it starts to beat again. Like, early, like, it, it does keep you on your toes. A solid track. Nothing crazy. Didn't blow me away by any stretch. But let's go into this next song. This is the next one. This is probably their biggest song. Now, I've heard Creep on the radio a bunch, but I'm really excited to just actually lock in and really focus on this song because uh, it is probably their biggest song, I'd say. Very full, very full drums, you know. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. 
just cuts it. Cuts so nicely. You float like a feather. So eerie, man. In a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so fucking special. That bit is so tough. But I'm a creep. It's cool to hear those little things because ultimately they build. Is that that whole song? A great song, man. Short song. It was awesome. Stop This one in particular gives me a bit of Bono vibes, a little bit of U2 kind of vibes. It's nothing crazy, this track. It's enjoyable, don't get me wrong. I always admit, like, the guitars on each of these tracks sound really good. Like, like this in particular. I like that delay. Nothing crazy, but nice. Thinking about you. Been thinking about you. You red cuts are here. Your eyes on my wall. Some balance of the guitar and the vocals here. When the other 
man of five, five. They're both burn. driving the force of this song right now. All the things you got, all the things you need. You bought your cigarettes, the private company to come and see you, honey. Ooh, I like that. So we're getting some more guitar. We're getting some drums into it now. Just building a bit. Been thinking about you and there's no rest. All the things you got, I plan on a bleed to please you. Been thinking about you. Tight track. Again, nothing mind-blowing. Some nice guitar progression throughout it. There's that real saturated guitar sound. Anyone can play guitar. I don't know about that. I'm not very good at guitar. Ooh. Ooh. This stuff. Ooh. There's that bass. Song, yeah, it kind of just cuts itself off, really. There, it's very sudden, kind of an outro. Rip chord. Is that that like that guitar, that entry, that guitar? It was very like 80s, 80s rock.
pages. That was a nice one. I can't. It's a nice track. I thought. Oh, we're up to the final track of the album now. Blowout. <laughs> Trippy, man. <laughs> There's some real pockets on this album that kind of like highlight what's to come. was Pablo Honey, the debut album by Radiohead. First thoughts that come to my, my head post listening to that album for the first time. Sounds like a band that was trying to work out where they wanted to go with their sound. So you've got a basic track and then you might have five seconds of that song that feel like, a little, not out of place, but had the potential to grow and expand into something, but they tended to draw it back in and play out the rest of the track. Um, Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Like I said just previously, there are little points in this album that I was like, that that really gave me Kid A vibes, that, that seemingly reminded me of various points within that album. About the midpoint of the album, I was a little bit worried that there was going to be not enough of these moments, that the album was going to remain 
very, very similar in sound. And while a lot of it does follow the same structure and in some sort of scheme, I'm happy to say that towards the end of the album, I, I can kind of sit here and say that there there was enough noticeable differences between the tracks. Um, I will point out some of the ones that really stood out to me. I thought you, awesome way to introduce the album. We head into Creep and Creep is just this eerie but so smooth and beautiful song. I'm not surprised that Creep blew up the way that it did. It definitely feels like the most complete song on the album. How Do You was another really nice track. Like I said, it, it reminded me of a bit like surfy Aussie rock which is kind of cool. Some of the bands that I've heard over the last couple of years at festivals from Australia, very surfy. I liked it. It was nice and tight. I found a lot of these songs on this album weren't didn't overstay their welcome. Thinking About You was nice. I liked how it was fairly, fairly instrumental. Uh, we had a lot of just stripped back guitar with the – I need to know what he's – what is the lead singer? Is it Thom, Thom York? Tom York? Tom York? I'm going to go – I'm going to say Tom. Uh, Tom's vocals were really nice at points with this album. I, I really like when they didn't do too much around his vocals and I could just listen to him. When the guitar overbared a little, I, I found like I lost I lost the effect of his voice slightly. Anyone can play guitar. That's a perfect example. I really enjoyed the verses. There are some forgettable tracks on this album just from that first listen there are points where I, I couldn't really tell you or distinguish between some of the songs, Ripcord being one of them. I Can't, Lurgy and Blowout were a nice way to finish the album. Blowout definitely had points of experimentation and, yeah, the outro of Blowout really does feel like they were about to break away. And I find it so fitting that it was actually – at the end of the album that we found the most experimentation or openness. I'm very yeah. keen to hear how Pablo Honey then evolved into the Benz and what the Benz has to offer. Very, 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 very cool to dive into what is the first Radiohead project. And we've got so much more to experience. So I'd like to think that every couple of weeks or so, once I've kind of sat with the album a little bit, kind of soaked it in, like I did with Kid A, I didn't really want to just rush. As much as I loved it and I, you know, I wanted to hear what was next, I don't really want to rush into just you know listening to each album, you know. But yeah, Pablo Honey was a really cool introduction to what I think is going to be an incredible journey, and I'm really hoping that you guys can can enjoy and stick around and and, and take it all in. Anyway, guys, hope you all have a fantastic week. Thank you for joining me on this reaction slash review. This is Caveman Jack, and I will see y'all in the next video. Cheers. But I'm a creep. I'm a creep.